Valorant's newest map, Lotus, has just been revealed and we learned a lot about the new map and the lore that surrounds it. Let's get into the lore of Lotus. Valorant released two cinematics, both about the story of Lotus. If you recall back in episode 5, the practice range had a dialogue sequence with Astra and Harbor talking about a lost city on Omega Earth that was a product of the Guardians. The Guardians are a group of interdimensional beings that Astra is a part of. We also learned that there is Guardian tech on Earth. Astra's gauntlet, Harbor's bracelet, and Yoru's mask are all Guardian technology. Astra and Harbor hatch a plan to find Lotus on Omega Earth because it has been destroyed on Alpha. The first cinematic, Revelation, starts out with a voiceover of Sky, Astra, and Harbor walking through the jungles of India on Omega as they get spotted by enemies. Sky tells Astra and Harbor to go on without her as she will take care of them. After a long voiceover fight scene, we get into the cinematic which starts with Astra and Harbor approaching the lost city. Lotus. The cinematic then switches to other Valorant agents on vacation. Fade's first appearance in the Valorant cinematic has her in a club, looking pretty suspicious. Omen and Sage are at Val HQ practicing, and Jet, Rays, and Killjoy are chilling in Seoul, Korea. The story continues as we see Harbor and Astra reach Lotus and use their Guardian tech to unlock the doors, revealing the lost Guardian city. As they breach the doors, Jet, Rays, KJ, Sage, and Fade all received a notification on their phone telling them that Astra and Harbor have been located. Astra and Harbor emerge from the water and find the Lost City, but right as they enter it, the girl squad shows up ready for a fight. From this scene, we learn that we are actually watching Omega Fade, Sage, Rays, KJ, and Jet on vacation as Astra and Harbor from Alpha infiltrate Lotus. The cinematic ends in a cliffhanger of the duel about to start, but that's not the end. The next day, Valorant released the official trailer for Lotus, the newest map. As the trailer starts, Asher and Harbor are in the middle of the battle. While Harbor talks to Brim on his earpiece about his status, Astra goes into her astral form and takes us through the map in an omnipresent way. Astra is learning about Lotus throughout this trailer. She says it all seems familiar and that this place isn't actually dead as we get our first glimpse of the A-Site with its new gimmick, Rotating Doors. As we go into B-Site, Astra notices that Omega humans and Guardians work together to create this place, and we scan through multiple guardian -esque artwork pieces such as the floating pose Astra does in her astral form is all over the map. Moving on to Seasight, Astra claims that the amount of radiite energy here is staggering and that she needs to stop them. At that moment, Astra returns to her own body as Harbor is still defending her and he mentions Astra's counterpart is here. The trailer ends as Astra and Harbor are looking up at a supposed helicopter and some woman who potentially could be Omega Astra or even a Guardian. We have to wait to find out more about who this mystery woman is and why Omega Valor is so gung-ho on protecting Lotus. But that's not all. We also got to see gameplay and footage of Lotus and have got to understand what this map entails. So let's get into what Lotus is bringing to Valorant. Lotus is a three-site map similar to Haven, but acts in a completely different way and it looks quite different to how most maps are played. Lotus is actually quite small for a three-site map and the sites themselves are very compact. This is the first map that Valorant has experienced with different types of bomb sites. Most bomb sites in Valorant are pretty symmetrical, but these bomb sites are pretty whack. B's site has a tiny little narrow sliver to plant on, and C's site's plant area is at a higher level than the rest of the map. The main gimmick of Lotus is its rotating doors that can be activated on either side. These doors make a loud noise and open up new pathways for both attackers and defenders, so I'm sure these rotating doors will become a very contested area on Lotus. Lotus also does not feature a mid as the B site takes over that mid area, and it is in fact pretty tiny. Lotus is also full of small corridors, tight corners, and combat sites, so agents such as Breach, Brimstone, Harbor, Killjoy, and Yoru all have the potential to do very well in this map. Lotus also seems to be a constant dueling map similar to Bind as all the major choke points are close together and there are multiple pathways to flank and counter your opponents. It's exciting to see how Lotus will be played. We've never had such compact sites before and it seems like you can't play on site after post plant but have to play in a tight corridor or chokehold area. What are your thoughts on the lore behind Lotus and what Lotus brings to the map pool in Valorant? Let us know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.